Hi, Anita here. Uh, I just wanted to share with you um, a quick little video of how I put together my December daily. Um, this year I'm using one of the Snap albums. Um, this one I got from Peter. Um, it's great that it's got the pocket pages so if you're in your project life or you're sort of just starting and not quite sure if you're ready to take the plunge this is a nice way to initiate yourself um, into that style of scrapbooking and dabble to see if you like it um, it's quite feasible to play um, and make a mini album using these. Um, as Snap have got some really cool um, new little cards that are out um, which Peter has. There's a boy range, a girl range, an everyday one which is really neat. I like it. Uh, and the Christmas one's really fun and it's not too... Um, I'm not really a big snowflakes Christmas kind of girl because we're in Australia and it's 44 degrees most days in December well not quite that hot um, but yeah it doesn't snow here so um, but I'd left I'll just go through quickly what I've done I've left the bind the um, album cover pretty plain um, just some washi tape and some baker's twine um, and then I've just cut um, a little scalloped tag out of some scraps um, and I've cut a, the word December on my silhouette uh, and put some s little stars and these are some white vinyl thickers that I had that I painted teal to match to tie in a bit and just a doily and a flare and some enamel dots <coughs> excuse me so this is quite easy um, I usually make my December daily in November and then when you're running around like a mad hatter in December you only have to sort of uh, stick your pictures in or even if you just print them and put them there and maybe even just grab a, a bit of scrap paper and write something about that day and then get to it when you can. Um, so here... Okay, wait a sec. So these are the really cool um, snap cards. I like them because they're um, really neat. They're kind of fun. There's a bit of blackboard sort of print through them white, teal, green, red, so there's quite enough, I got um, the six, I think there's two, no there might, I think there's only one six by four pack and the three by four cards, so they're a separate pack, so you can get one or both. Um, the only thing I found with the snap pockets is there's no actual vertical 6x4 pockets through a landscape um, but these you could quite easily put on one of a on a page as an embellishment with a photo um, so there you can also use them as photo mats um, with the pattern side um, so I've actually rounded all the edges on on mine so what I do is I go through now some paper in here is stuff that I had in my stash um, which Peter will not have sorry Pete but most of it is the snap cards and um, cuts that I've done myself um, so what I've done is I've gone through when you get your snap folder it comes with a variety of sleeves so there's the 6x8 pocket the 2 6x4 pocket and then the there's the 4 3 by 4 and then there's also this one here that's got the long strip and then the 2 square um, which are 6 inches high. So, uh, no they're 4 inches high now. So they're quite good for photos and, and whatnot. So what I usually do is, and also sorry, it comes with 3 chipboard dividers and um, because this is the red album it has full cards through it and your lined and gridded journaling blank cards. So what I like to do is go through and mix them up, jumble them up a bit and then when I'm happy I'll go through and I'll start um, tucking some cards in. So I found this really easy to get prepped. Um, so I mixed it all up, 
got happy with the order that I'd had it in and then I just started to go through and sort of slot cards in where I'd like them to be and then just put a little tag to say photo um, and do that and then I go back through and work out because it's a December daily and num where I'm going to number my pages so this will be number one and then I've got uh, number two which um, I just use stickers or sort of mix it up on how I write each day so a different thicker or this one's got three here you can't really see it. three in little alphabets and then this one I've used four um, these are actually the stickers that um, are separate but you can get them as well for the snap Christmas range so that's the sticker pack um, so you've got some little embellishments, some tags and some alphabets which are really cool um, and I also like uh, the snap stickers um, there's a few colours in that so there's also red green so you can sort of mix them up a bit and have a bit of variety um, another thing that I'll be using once I have my pictures in here are these really cool um, clear stickers from Mambi not Mambi, sorry me and my big ideas, these are pocket pages um, and they're a clear sticker that um, it's probably better to show you these ones a clear sticker that goes over top of your photo like a transparency um, so they'll be really cool um, and I also got some extra um, October afternoon stickers, little mini market stickers. I really like these as well. They're similar to the, the snap ones but a little bit bigger. So basically that's how I get started. Um, and then as I have time I'll sit there and journal and go through. So um, like I said, go through, work out your spacings um, and then start numbering your pages. So that one's 10 and then I've just used a pencil so this one's one of the um, snap cards so it's actually got a calendar so I've just circled that one and that's day 11 so um, I say so a lot you can put in um, glitter pockets um, I did a tutorial on the blog of how to make these cool little pockets so you could embellish with one of those in there as well but the snap cards, I, there's quite, like, this is, I haven't used all of them. So, there's enough for Christmas layouts if you want to make some Christmas cards, uh, even your tags for people's presents. Um, ones like this, oh, like this would make a nice Christmas tag. Just punch a hole in some string um, and wrap away. So, it's quite easy to get your head around um, a December daily even if you do a bit of a look on Pinterest um, you can write a sort of a bucket list for your December daily like watch a Christmas movie, send out Christmas cards, catch up with friends we've actually got um, a couple of birthdays in December so we'll, well actually there'll be six of them all Riley's little friends and Riley turned two so that's quite hectic um, so yeah, December is quite a full on month, but I got, I accomplished and finished December daily last year and I quite enjoy looking back at it. So it's a fun thing and if you've got kids you could get them to be involved as well um, or even get them to make their own. So this is an easy and fun uh, little mini album. You don't have to make a mini album if you're doing Project Life. You can certainly pick up these snap ranges and do your December daily in your Project Life album um, and tie these in throughout December rather than doing an extra mini, which is quite feasible. So, yeah, head over to Scrapbooking from Scratch uh, and grab some, grab some supplies and have a crack at... Uh, December daily. Thanks for watching.